Hello everyone, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another episode of our survival series. This is episode 12, and today we will be doing some more work in the foxhole. Last episode, we built this tree farm right here. Now, originally I told you I wanted to put a cocoa bean farm there, and we decided to place this here instead, and honestly, I'm not really liking it too much. It's just, I do feel like it needs to be outside. That's where I originally wanted to place it. One of you had mentioned down in the comment section that perhaps the shadow, as you can see the shadow here on this side, could be blocking uh, the sapling and its light. I thought I'd give some light. Like I said, I'm not too sure how all of that works, but I did feel that we needed some air blocks above it. Now, I think we're going to tear this down, and we might go with the cocoa bean farm instead. So today, the first thing we're going to do is tear down the thing that we spent most of the episode creating last time uh i don't know if i said that right i'm trying to dig here but uh yeah we spent probably like a good half of the episode building this thing getting it right and yeah we're just tearing it all down now so uh like i said it's not where i really wanted to put it i just thought it'd be more practical than a cocoa bean farm but then after asking you guys for some help in the comment section what we should do in the foxhole one of you had mentioned, actually a couple of you, mentioned building an auto smelter uh, on the way out. So, maybe it's because you saw this little pathetic thing right here. All I've been doing is cooking up some netherrack. I just needed a place to put it. And I think that's a great idea, building the auto smelter. It's probably going to go somewhere over here, and I'll go over my plans in a little bit. Only because, as we saw, this goes right to our zombie spawner. And I wanted to create some sort of villager trading hall back in this area. So that kind of ties up this section right here. Now for the auto smelter, I was thinking that we could probably do it out here. So the plans are, as like I said, I do read the comments. So another, you, another one of you, excuse me, have mentioned uh, about keeping this little keyhole right here because, you know, it looks pretty awesome. So, I totally agree. So, what I want to do is, I guess, expand the cave out. So, if we come up top here, now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Let's just try and make it look cool. So, we come up top, and then I have this other area above with another little cave. And that doesn't really go anywhere. It just goes all the way to the top of our sugarcane farm. So, I'm not really too worried about this. I can probably do some terraforming above this just to kind of cover this section up. Maybe leave a hole right here. I don't know. We'll see. Just to uh, see how things look. And let's come on down. Oh. Uh, yep. Still getting the lecture thing down. Hello, cat. We need to name you. We got some name tags. Now, I also saw a comment uh, about a well. Now, I think that is an awesome idea. Now, the only thing is, is where I'm going to place it. So, I'm thinking once we get this area all built up out here, we can do a well, and then another one we had mentioned, a decorative farm, wheat farm, which I think is, you guys are having some great ideas. I would have never thought of that. I probably would have just, like, bone milled some grass and, like, made some trails, threw some rocks out here, and called it a day. But I think that is a great idea. So, we do have a lot of things to be working on now. But today, like I said, we just tore this down. I think we are going to build the cocoa bean farm today. Now, I think I went on a tangent there. Is that the right word? Uh, rabbit? Rabbit trail? You know, got off topic. But, uh, so, I'm thinking we do need the cocoa bean farm because I want to make some, I want to try brown concrete powder. I kind of want to make this look a little more natural. So, I'm thinking dirt. We got some pods all last episode. Uh, I was collecting that before we started. And then, I don't know, maybe some working, working some, uh, brown concrete powder in here but let's go ahead and start a project today and let's get to work on that cocoa bean farm thinking that this should probably be five blocks wide that's why i've decided because we have nine blocks to work with it makes it kind of centered and i think that would look good now let's go ahead we're gonna grab our red kit here put this down i have all the supplies made i can't repair it today uh i know i have those are sticky pistons okay Maybe I'm not too prepared because I need regular pistons. So let me go ahead and make five more regular pistons. 
and welcome back we got those pistons made now i believe we are all set so let's go ahead and start placing this thing in so i think i have enough space we'll see because i do need to put like a little water stream or something right here hopefully we get this right the first time probably should have counted out the blocks that i needed behind for the redstone for those of you who saw the last episode and for those of you just catching today's episode and missed the last episode we are making a farm that I have not yet done tutorial on yet. So in a way, you are getting a sneak peek at this farm. So we got that set. Now we don't have much height to work with. So when I made it in my redstone world, yeah, I'm hitting my head here at five high. I was making them seven high. And with this farm, you can actually go the length of the redstone, which is 15 blocks out. So that is definitely overkill for cocoa beans, but I mean, I don't know if you have like a big realm or something, you can have, I guess, an industrial cocoa bean farm this would be, just for everyone to use, and it would work great. Even this, this 5x5, five five, is probably more than enough. I don't think I'm going to ever need that much, but we are building this thing, and let's see, I need... Oh, it actually works perfectly. So, if I can get it to face down. There we go. Two, three, and I need to get... Do I have two up there? Let's get some light back here also. Okay. We don't want anything spawning on us, because that has happened plenty of times in here. Give me that. Give me my piston. Okay. So let's do this. Thank you. Place you back. Spiders outside, of course. That's an ongoing thing for this this server or this realm. We always have spiders outside. And I should have two. Let's put that there. So we want you to face. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. So welcome back once again. I finally got these pistons into place. It was getting a little frustrating, so I decided to do that off camera. And just to see if all the redstone was going to fit, I did do the bottom area because I do believe this is the biggest part of the farm, is where this sticks out here. So it looks like everything is going to fit just fine because this goes right outside right there. So if I break that block away, we're going to see outside. So I just want to make sure everything was going to fit. And I'm pretty sure it's going to fit up top. I didn't check that part, but we'll see. So, uh, I don't know. It, it's a little weird with this uh, wood on wood action we have going on here. Because just to keep the theme of our farm going, of this foxhole, excuse me, uh, we've been using oak wood. So if we take a look here at our sugar cane farm, it's oak wood. If we step outside and look at our automatic flower farm that we made, we have oak wood green glass and how many things are down there <laughs> let's find out so cow that's one cow sheep two sheep so and a chicken are those two chickens oh i can't get out so one So, it appears that this little area was our arc of the foxhole. We had two of each animal, two sheep, two cows, two chickens. And just great, I came back in and I was reviewing that clip. And as I was standing here, a creeper blew me up. And thankfully, it didn't get to the red kit. I don't know if it can destroy that or not, but yeah, I think I would have cried a little bit if anything happened to the red kit. So, thank you, Creeper. Now we have some things to patch up here. And of course, usually when the Creeper goes off, you never get enough of the blocks back to actually fill it up completely. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Just one short. I got this all patched up again, and apparently the Creeper took out some of this wall I placed in too, so we put that back. Now... Let's go ahead and take a look at what I've done so far. As I mentioned, I have the framework set up, just to kind of see how things are going to fit. 
and I also got the bottom area of the redstone done. So how this works, we press our button. This can give us a one tick pulse, which can be picked up by the comparator, which is going to be picked up by the observer, which is then going to activate this redstone, causing our pistons to push up. And then it's going to catch up here. And then what we're going to do next is place an observer circuit up here, observer piston circuit. Don't have an official name for that, but it happens to be my favorite circuit so far and probably one that I've used the most. For those of you who have watched my tutorials, it's going to look very familiar to you. So let's go ahead and speaking of um, this week, I did not have any tutorials come out. Um, for those of you who watched my tutorials and the survival series, I've just been, you know, life, you know, just life stuff, just been adulting. Uh, <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it. Just taking care of some things, got a little spring cleaning done, making room for a new bed that was coming in. And yeah, so that's been my week so far. And it's been it's been great. The new bed is awesome. I'm loving it. Had a great experience at uh, the mattress firm nearby. And normally, you know, I haven't shot for a mattress. The last one I've had was a twin size bed from IKEA that I placed together, I put together myself. And you know, I just wasn't I didn't know what to expect from so we need observer here. Just didn't know what to expect. Uh, very pleasant experience. As I was mentioning, I guess I worked with a manager. And no, good guy. Did not, was not pushy at all. Which is what I really loved. Uh, why did that go off? Hmm, I don't think I had anything in front here. Okay, anyways. Uh, as I was saying, worked with the manager, a uh, good guy. I wasn't pushing or anything, just kind of filling out our, you know, just typical salesman stuff, figuring out our needs, trying to work out the best thing. Wasn't pushy, is, and that's, like I said, that's what I really loved. And I need to, so that's going to come out here. And then right there, I need to run repeater right here into that one if I can place it. So let's dig this out, give us some light so nothing spawns, but like I was saying, just a really good experience, and it was awesome. So that was my week, like I said, a little busy to do any tutorials this time, uh, just, you know, it happens, things come up. So what we got going on here, getting back on track to the redstone. Uh, let's see if this works. So we want to set this to two ticks. Actually, yes, two ticks. Now, normally we do, this is set to two ticks, this is set to one, but just with the timing of our one, one tick pulse down there, we need to set this back another. So we do a two and a four. So I don't know what happened. That got activated for whatever reason. So let me break this. Okay. So it looks like it works. Let's go ahead and put jungle wood back. You know what? We have an extra item that probably fell into the hopper right here. Yep. Yep, one of the dirt fell into the hopper, which now I guess we know the circuit works. So it read that going into the hopper, got picked up by the comparator, and then, yeah. So. This should all be set, so let's go ahead. Yep, there it is. Make sure it's working good. Give it a few more tests here. And perfect. Looks like the redstone is working. All right. All right, so we just need to finish this up. Uh, just thinking about some more adulting I did this week. Uh, like I mentioned, I went to Mattress Firm. That was Sunday, and then that got delivered to me yesterday Wednesday in the morning today's Thursday uh, so that was done but also I went shopping at Walmart that same day I went to mattress firm and so you know I spent spent a pretty penny at Walmart as you know most of you probably do and a thing that happened was that I'm someone I personally like to keep track of my finances and see you know how much I'm spending where 
Um, you know what it's looking like, you know, my budget and everything. So I went to my bank app and happened to look. So we're gonna put that right there. And we're gonna need something. This water stream is gonna come. We're gonna probably do this. Right. Nope. We need one back. Uh I was checking my bank app because that's what I do. And I noticed that there was a transaction made that I did not make from Walmart. So it showed my Walmart. But then there was uh, an order made from Walmart online for like 65 bucks that I definitely didn't do. So I immediately got on the phone. That was Monday with my bank. Uh, they actually helped out pretty well too. I mean, it was a painless process. They shut down my card. And then they said, oh, you know, I guess just as a general guideline, they take, uh, they said 10 to, 10 to 90 business days or whatever it was to get my money back. So I was checking today. Today was payday for me for my job. So like I said, I check everything. And I also noticed that my money was refunded from Walmart as well. So that was totally awesome. Totally unexpected. I didn't expect them to move that fast. But... Yay, adulting. People people taking your stuff. I don't know how they got my, my card information. And then, you know, just doing everyday life things as well. So, that was my week. Um, you know, just talking to you guys a little bit while we do this. And I need to get these stairs upside down just to complete the look I want. Dang it. Okay. Okay. We will have enough stairs to finish. Oh, have enough stairs to finish this. But yeah, anyways, like I said, I thought I'd share how my week was going. And, you know, another reason to justify why there were no, no tutorials this week. So, yeah, that that's what was going on with me. And I want that back. Everything, everything is precious to me. Except points. Points I don't care about. Okay, that should all go down to our... Did that dirt not catch? Or did I get it? Um, that should go right into the hopper. Yes. Right there. Perfect. Okay. So it looks like this is set. So let's go ahead and throw some cocoa beans on this. And since we do have a ton of bone meal, I can go ahead and simulate what it looked like fully grown. I... Well, yeah, I guess that's 19. <laughs> Thought I had more. 5 by 5 is 25, so... Yep. Doing some math there. Uh, let's get some... Bone meal. Plenty of bones here, so probably let's take this little half stack. And under nature. And let's put this into our inventory. Okay. So, let me bone mill this, and then we'll test it out. Okay, we have everything bone milled. Now, the only concern I had about this, and if you see my other cocoa bean farm design, we actually brought this three blocks out, just so when everything collapses, it actually makes it into the water stream. So, this I do have a little concern about. We probably will have something laying here, but that's why we're checking this. So, this is all grown, and then when we're ready to harvest, we press this. Thou shift and it looks like a lot of it made it onto the ground here. How much how much did we get in the chest actually? And that's still filling up. Let's see what our total is. 28. Now let's see how much made it onto the ground. And we have 20. So we lost almost half of what we had here. But uh the farm works. The farm definitely works. Uh, that is good to know, so when I actually do tutorial on this thing, I do, obviously I'm going to need to tweak this a little bit, just so we don't lose everything. And I'm really against using hoppers, just because of how expensive it is, which is why I use the water stream in my other cocoa bean farm. So, this does work. So, you saw how this works, it pushes up, and then pushes it back down, and like I said, you can get this probably safe safely six blocks high you can do seven and then you can run this 15 blocks wide so you get a good idea of how big you can actually make this farm so 
what I think I'm going to do is, I don't know, come out one more. And let me take a look, and then let's see what we come up now with. Now let's test it. We gave ourselves a two-block gap. I put the water in the corner. You can see it's running down to the corner here. I may need one more, so I am prepared for that, but I just want to see. So let's go ahead. And that was a lot better. A lot of that actually went into the water. So it looks like to be safe, we actually need to make this three blocks. And I think we can do it. Yeah, we can just go ahead and do that. So I only lost... Oh, man. I guess I didn't put the rest of it in there. <laughs> okay, so obviously it wasn't as bad as the first time. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. We already have over a stack. Like I said, this farm just right here is already going to be more than enough. So we know this works. Let me scoop up this water. And then let's get our handy dandy shovel. Handy dandy notebook. And put this in. Is that going to go all the way over? Yes, it does. So, cool. That works. And then we just... We'll just fill all this in here. If the water doesn't keep pushing me back. So then we just do some oak wood. Oak wood. And then we'll close it off. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Fill that back in. So that is done. Now, it's just a matter of, like I said, as we move along, we place a farm here. Now it's just a matter of making this look pretty. And it is looking good, if I do say so myself. So I've decided to add a little bit of rock structure here, because I know down in the comments one of you had mentioned adding a little more rocks just to change up the texture and the color. So I thought that was a great idea to add this over here. And then we added a little bit of bushes right here, just some little patches of grass. And then just to kind of start that ceiling look over here, we got our grass up top. A little bit of slab action going here, just so we can kind of start getting an idea of what this is going to look like as we move it down this way. Now that this area is starting to get a little fixed up and, uh, you know, we're building this in, we are going to start moving this over across this way. And eventually this will all look just like that and i think it's gonna look super cool now unfortunately we are all out of time i really hope you guys enjoyed this episode this has been rogue fox and i'm out i'll see you later